Most companies these days recognize that having a talent pool is important. After all, companies can spend thousands on talent attraction and to just let candidates walk out of the door after an interview and uh, lose touch with them, that's a huge waste of money. But what is a talent pool? Is it just a database of candidates? Well, on one level, yes, it's important to have a good system that is searchable, be it a well put together Excel sheet uh, or an ATS or a more bespoke system. But a system's only as good as the information that goes into it. So uh, the process behind that and the relationship with hiring managers is what's really important to be able to record information that's valuable, not just a three-star candidate, but what are the real skills the candidate has uh, and what roles do we think they'd be good for? Do they fit the culture? Uh, this is what is really going to make a talent pool useful. So of course, once you've achieved that, uh, all you have to do is type in uh, some keywords, get the top candidates, phone them, and they come running. Well, we wish it was that easy. Uh, in reality, um, not the case. Number one, you've got to ensure that everyone going into that talent pool has had a really positive candidate experience. Uh, if you phone someone and say, oh, you had an awful experience with us a few months ago, would you like to come and have another terrible experience? Well, you can guess the answer. So positive candidate experience, customer service, uh, absolutely essential. That is the bedrock uh, of actually having a talent pool rather than just a list of names. After that, uh, you've got to keep them interested. Now, it may be five, six, seven months, maybe longer uh, between the time a candidate interviews and the time a more suitable job comes up for them. So how do we keep them interested? Well, during the process, uh, they need to have every opportunity to sign up for things like job alerts, uh, follow you on social media like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and any subscriptions that your company puts out, uh, if they can sign up to that, learn more about the company and what you're doing, that's also useful. Uh, on this note, if your recruitment department isn't working closely with your public affairs or branding department, uh, you're definitely missing some opportunities there. So you've got candidates signed up, they're in your talent pool. How do we keep them interested? Well, we engage them with content, uh, but it can't just be, these are the jobs we've got, would you like to apply? You know, it's the same as any social media or media that we consume. It needs to be interesting. If it's not, we switch off. Uh, so give them something entertaining, something funny, something useful, uh, and then a smattering of these are the jobs and typical company self-aggrandizement. Um, but but keep it you know, geared towards the candidate. Uh, then you're actually going to have a pool of people that are engaged and interested and happy when they receive your call and wanting to apply. Uh, on a final note, if you've really got some strong candidates, uh, nothing beats personal communication, uh, a phone call, a personalized email. That's when you're really going to build loyalty and see the most from your talent pool.